So what I'm going to describe now is we're going to do an experiment involving electroscopes. So let me first of all describe the experiment and then we'll move to the back table to actually take a look at, at um, the results of the experiment. So let me explain to you what we're going to do. So I've got some scissors here. You guys will come get a piece of tin okay, and a pair of scissors. And what you can do is you cut out a piece of tin that looks something like that. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave my electroscope around so that you can all take a look at it. So all that I've done is I've taken a piece of tin and um, I cut a piece that looks like this and I sticky taped it to the top of a cup. Okay. Then I cut. I, I took another piece. Uh, so let's see where I put that now. Here's the other piece, also cut out of the same piece of tin. Okay, and that piece looks like. A little cross. Okay. And what I can do is I can balance the cross on this other piece so that it's free to move. Okay. So we'll go to the back and take a look at it. But this piece that I'm going to call the needle is free to move. So It'll just hang there and um, it can flop back and forth. I'm now going to take another cup, charge it up on my hair and hold it close to the needle. What will happen? Good. So when I rub the cup on my hair, I'm charging the cup. The field from the cup will polarize the needle and then we will feel an attractive force. Polarization always produces an attractive force and the needle will be attracted towards the cup. Everyone agree? Good. So that's what we're going to look at. We're going to do a calculation afterwards on this electroscope. The thing that we're going to calculate is the following. We said that when a conductor polarizes the electron C inside the needle shifts. Right? The electrons collect on one side and they leave the other side. So the, that electron C has shifted to explain the polarization. What we're going to calculate is how far did the electron C shift. Okay? And uh, we'll see that answer. So let's gather around at the back now and let's do the experiment. Great. Now I get to sit and you guys have to stand. <laughs> okay. Can everyone see the needle? Okay, it's nice and free there. Okay, that's the only thing that's important, that uh, it can freely wiggle around. Okay? Now, here I go. I'm charging the cup. More charge, more charge, more charge. And now I bring it towards the needle. Did you see that? Yeah. That was the experiment. <laughs> so let me charge it again. Charge, 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 charge. Bring the cup towards the needle, towards the needle, and it's attracted. Let me, let me put it like that for you guys. Bring it towards the cup. Oh, it has to be my hair. <laughs> towards the cup. Okay, can you see it going? So there it was attracted. Good. Okay guys, so that's the electroscope. Form groups of two. There's cups at the front, tin at the front, sticky tape at the front, scissors at the front. 
I want you each to build an electroscope for each group of two. Okay? Let's do that now. Good.